Good morning, guys, and welcome to a productive week in my life. My first productive week in my life vlog. Wow, I'm almost out of this. It's Monday and I love starting Mondays off with a workout. Usually I love to do a workout class. Today I couldn't book anything, so I am just gonna go on a run, which actually doesn't happen that often. Don't love running and I especially don't like it when I don't really have a place to run to. So I told my sister that I was gonna drop off a croissant for her, which I did get for her yesterday. So I needed to see her anyway, so kill two birds with one stone. Let's head out. showered that run was so good now i'm just getting a little bit ready mondays i like to kind of use as my catch-up day and job search day so many of you guys know i was laid off in february the company had a 20 percent layoff i've been kind of job searching since then and the market has been so tough but also with wedding planning i just got married last month so with wedding planning it just got really hard to balance it all that the wedding's over i feel like i have my sanity back a little bit a parallel pathing content and job searching one thing that i do that really helps my productivity is time blocking so i religiously live off of my google calendar if something is on my calendar i am there i am doing it so i always find that when I pre-plan my day the night before. I always have a more productive day and I always get more stuff done. I just always get distracted in the middle of things. So it's just better for me to time block and focus on one thing at a time. editing a bunch of tiktoks i'm gonna make a quick lunch during the week what i love to do for lunch is just eat leftovers so usually when i cook dinner at night i'll cook some extra so i have some leftover salmon to make rice so i'm gonna eat this what i try to do on mondays too is prep all these like raw veggies for the week this is leftover from last week my little lunch and probably less than five minutes. I'm gonna eat my lunch right now. The Nordstrom sale just started today for everybody. So I need to post my little like Nordstrom um, sale recommendation. So I'm gonna work on that right now. Yeah, I do think that because it completely were here so i don't know if you guys can tell it's cleaner up in here it always helps me to have a really clean space last night i ended up cleaning up my closet so you know what i'll take you guys to see it i had so much stuff just piled because it was a little bit of like post-wedding stuff plus some pr that i had before this was like all stuff so i cleaned all of that out i'm trying to sell some of my um, wedding outfits and just some of the stuff excess stuff that I have in my wardrobe so just like clearing things out always helps me be more productive too
whenever I'm trying to have a productive morning, I try to maximize my time. So even when I'm getting ready, I try to like ingest something. And since I can't watch while I am doing my makeup, I like to listen to a podcast. I love Second Life, which is basically about um, like women who have found a second job that has really taken off. Another podcast I really like is Mariana Hewitt's podcast, Life with Mariana. And she also interviews some really great people. I just listened to her one with Audrey Peters and then Emily Kaiser. Mariana is the co-founder of Summer Fridays and she's an influencer herself. I love kind of her point of view on media, social media, um, and obviously being a founder of a really great brand. Oh, and Call Her Daddy. Call Her Daddy is so good. I feel like Alex Cooper, I mean, she's a great interviewer. I think uh, Jane Fonda had said in one of her interviews that out of all the interviews that she's had basically her entire life, the interview with Alex Cooper was by far the best. I think Alex does a ton of research before um, interviewing, which makes sense, but I think she really does extensive research and really preps herself. So the questions that she asks are super on point, super insightful. I'm gonna continue listening and finish getting ready. getting myself a little bit ready because I'm gonna be doing a little bit of filming and then tonight we are going out to dinner with friends. In general, I always try to put on just a little bit of makeup because I feel like it just makes me feel that much more put together and it's one of those little things that I do every day that really helps keep me productive. When I don't get ready at all, that's when I have my most unproductive days because I think it's something about just not signaling to your body and your brain that you're up, you're ready, you are ready to conquer the day. I feel like little signals like doing your makeup, like, you know, making your bed, making coffee, those are rituals that really help me stay uh, motivated and productive and I think that's why everyone has their like morning routine right because it's really what sets you up for the day I'm gonna hurry and finish getting ready so I can finish editing my YouTube video I can't believe it's literally taken me like five days to edit this YouTube video it's just my weekend vlog but I guess it's my first video that I'm editing that I filmed on my camera and it's also the first video I've edited in a really long time. So it's definitely taking me longer. Also such a noob move, literally half of my footage is in slow-mo, so I don't even have the audio for it. That's one of those things where you just live and you learn. I didn't even know I had a slow-mo mode on this, but I guess I accidentally clicked it. So let me speed through this and I'll show you guys what I look like once I'm ready. lot later I'm in my closet right now because I have a ton of new clothes to try on and film content for we have dinner in two hours and I have to get this done today like no more procrastinating I really do think having a deadline for yourself is really good for productivity because I know I have two hours to get these videos out so it needs to happen we're gonna make it happen so let's do it A little OOTD. Kind of 
of obsessed with this outfit. I feel very cute. Hey, it's the weekend. We're headed out to Jess's surprise birthday. Jess is Tim's brother's girlfriend who I um, took to dinner the other day. You guys saw. I headed out to her surprise birthday party in Golden Gate Park, so I wanted a cute park outfit. I think I, I think I did pretty well. I'm pretty proud of myself. I had no idea what to wear, and I think this is like comfy cute. Anyways, it's the weekend. I'm gonna go enjoy my weekend. I hope you guys do too. And thanks for joining me for my little productive week in my life vlog. Let me know if you guys liked it. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on post notifications. And if you wanna see more of my day-to-day -day life, follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I hope you guys have the best weekend and I will catch you guys soon. Bye.